Hello, good day. We have a precise 1204 server that I want to upgrade to the trusty 1404. And if you don't already have the upgrade manager package, you'll need to get that installed. This is a very simple, small virtual machine that is a test Samba server at the moment. So generally speaking, if this were a production box, you would want to take all kinds of care and um, make sure that your data is backed up and such. This happens to be just a test bed to demonstrate the basic process of doing a release upgrade. And since the trusty release actually happens later today, it says that there's no release found. So we'll use the dash D to indicate that we want to get the development branch. But on tomorrow, you won't need dash D. So that's exciting. There are several points throughout the upgrade that will require your input and I would recommend reading those. Um, generally, I'm going to tell everything yes, and also when the installer prompts for replacing configuration files, I'll go ahead and tell it yes. Otherwise, um, we pretty much wait for packages to download and install. So throughout this video, I will be pausing the recording so as not to watch paint dry. In all actuality it won't take that long. I would expect that uh, within about 20 minutes we'll be running on a fully updated and upgraded trusty release. Okay, some moments later we have one of our first interactive prompts and I'm going to tell it yes. This essentially permits the installer to stop and start services as we proceed through the installation. So on one of my other windows here I have uh, started a ping to our precise box and also an nmap port scan. Throughout the upgrade we can watch uh, these ports close and open as those packages are brought down and back up and I anticipate uh, there will be a reboot at some point. And another point in the installation, it's asking if I want to overwrite a configuration file. And um, given that this Samba installation is going from version 3 to version 4, which is a major upgrade, I do want to go ahead and uh, keep the package maintainer's version. What that means is that after the upgrade is complete, we may need to review our configuration um, and customizations of that and any other um, affected services. Toward the end of the trusty upgrade, it's going to ask if you want to remove obsolete packages. I'm going to tell it yes. And here shortly, I anticipate that it will be asking for a reboot. Yes, let's reboot. and. We'll go back over here and watch things shut down. This will also be how we know we can get back in. Looks like we're clear. Okay, welcome to Ubuntu 14.04 LTS. That's good. One thing that I like to do after any of the do release upgrade procedures 
is to do an apt get update followed by an apt get upgrade. Sometimes there are some uh, cleanup activities that happen but as we are very close to the official release which is today I expect that that should be pretty minimal. Throughout the testing over the last couple of months in the development branch there have been some things to work out but let's just see how this fares. Well, no, I'm not root. Or perhaps I am. Ah, yes. See the error in my ways right there. And zeros. That is also a good thing. You can use the LSB release command to verify. It's also handy to check the note of your take note of your kernel version. So on the Samba server that was part of the original precise installation, um, we did tell it to go ahead and replace the configuration with the package maintainers version. Take note that the old file has been preserved but that the new file does not have the customizations that we had made in the prior video. So we'll go ahead and reconfigure those few items. Restart the Samba server. And let's go see everything is good there. It appears to be. I'd also like to launch this VM where we left off in the previous video. We'll do a refresh which may or may not work. We'll make a fresh connection. Here we go. Okay, so that concludes the trusty upgrade on my little makeshift Samba server with a little bit of Windows 8 and Vert.io thrown in there. I hope you enjoyed and I shall catch you another time.